Happy Monday, folks. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We got Coach Carly and Coach, not Coach, and JP going to help demo today's workout. So we're doing a little bit of squatting, so a little bit of machine work, and some lunges today. So we're going to start with a resistance band. Put that on just above the knees, or sorry, clamshells. Yeah, just above the knees, right? Yeah, clamshells. <laughs> band is just above the knees. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bend the knees in 90 degrees, stack the feet on top of each other, laying down on your side, 10 clamshells on each side. I like to pause for a second or two at the top of each one, trying to really push the knee as high as you can on each side. So you're going 10 on each side, and it's up to you. I like to keep the band on um, for glute bridges. Just roll onto your back. We'll go single leg glute bridges. So we're pushing one foot into the floor, one foot is extended out in front of you, and then you're pushing the hips up to extension. Uh, if you are wearing that band, push your knees laterally out against the band as you're doing these. So we're going 10 per leg, and then a 20 second hamstring plank. You're gonna keep your heels on the floor, walk your feet out almost all the way, and then 20 seconds keeping those hips off the ground. So it's like you're doing a, uh, a hollow position, um, but on the ground. So we're going two to three rounds of that part of the warm up. Then we're gonna work on some rotational and plyometric drills for the second half of our warm up. We're gonna go two to three rounds, 10 single leg rotational med ball tosses. So you're gonna balance on the foot that's farther away from the wall. Try to keep your arms as straight as you can and use the hips to turn towards the wall. So we're gonna go 10 on one side and then 10 on the other side. Then we're gonna go three on each side kneeling jump to a lateral squat. So you're gonna start on your knees, use your hands and hips to explode up into a squat and then into a lateral jump. So you're gonna do three in each direction and then finish with 10 reactive squat jumps. Drop into the bottom of the squat as your feet land and then bounce right up into your next squat. So two to three rounds of the plyometric drills. Okay, we're gonna hit some back squats. Every three minutes for five rounds, we're gonna go five reps, five by five back squat. Recommendations start around 70% of your one rep max back squat. And then depending on how you're feeling today and after the open, you can climb in weight and build to a heavy set of five. So on the back squat, squeeze the barbell with your hands. It's gonna squeeze the upper back, push up into the bar as you push your hips back and descend into the squat. So five by five, going on the three minutes. And for our conditioning work, we're gonna have a 16 minute EMOM. The goal is to practice lunges under fatigue since there's a high chance we might see those in the open this year. JP fell on his bike. Oh man. Okay. Minute one, 16 or 13 calorie row. Pick a quantity that you can complete in about 50 seconds so that you have time to transition. Minute two, 15 or 11 calories on the bike. So keep the intensity relatively high. Again, we're looking to complete this in about 50 seconds or less, so scale up appropriately. And then minute three is gonna be a 50 foot double dumbbell front rack walking lunge. So you're gonna have to work pretty hard to get these uh, 50 feet completed on that third minute. So stack the dumbbells on the shoulders. Try to keep that forward momentum as you're moving. You can step through the lunge, or if you're starting to ha uh, legs are starting to burn, you can step together, take a slight pause, and then move forward from there. So we're gonna go 25 feet out. Whenever you reach the cone, turn around, and 25 feet back. Good news, minute four is gonna be a rest interval. So we're going four total rounds of the EMOM. If you don't have access to a bike or rower at home, um, you can substitute running. So from minute one and two, you're gonna do a 400 meter run. So pick a distance that you can complete within a two minute window. And then just like we were doing, if you have dumbbells, minute three is gonna be a 50 foot dumbbell walking lunge. If you don't have dumbbells, just go for max distance unweighted lunges 
in that third minute. You'll be resting on minute four, so try to stay moving as continuously as possible for a full minute of walking lunges. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you all tomorrow.